next guest is a 14-time New York Times best-selling author who has taken YA readers on the action-packed adventure of a lifetime in her Sky Hunter Young Elite and Legends series, complete with mutant attacks, diabolical scientific experiments, and adventures in post-apocalyptic worlds of the future. But after waiting two long years, Marie Lu fans are about to find out where she's taking us next. And it's a bit more of this world, but still packed with plenty of action. Take a look. In movie terms, Marie Lu's latest book, the first in a brand new series, Stars and Smoke, has been called The Hating Game Meets Mission Impossible, pairing up sexy international pop star Winter Young, who sells out stadiums from LA to London with an icy tough-as-nails bodyguard from an elite covert ops unit of the CIA named Sidney Cossett. When a major crime boss invites Winter to perform at his daughter's birthday, he gets recruited to become a spy, and Sidney has to keep him safe. And where there's stars and smoke, there's bound to be fire, and sparks start to fly between this unlikely pair. Like in this scene, when Sidney takes Winter to the mats for combat training. She fell, and a blink later, she found herself on her back. Winter's knee pressed lightly against her chest. The knife held to her throat. For a moment, she just stared at him, heart pounding, all sarcasm forgotten. Winter and Sydney ultimately find themselves on the mission of a lifetime with twists and turns that will keep you flipping the pages. Woo! Please welcome best-selling author of Stars and Smoke, Marie Lu, to the TAM fam! Woo! Okay. I gotta start, um, first of all, the sketching. I had 5,000 questions to start with first, <laughs> but because of your background um, in video game world, mm -hmm. you create your character starting out with a sketch? I do, yeah. That's, and we have yeah. some, I think, to show. So the world starts here. <laughs> yes, that's right. That's very different, obviously, than I think Thank what people you. would imagine and what probably most writers do. Why is this your weapon of choice? Because we all have mm -hmm. weapons. This is one of yours. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I, I, I'm a very visual thinker, so I find that I have trouble understanding my characters and understanding the new story that I'm writing unless I can see them on paper. Um, I used to work in video games uh, as an artist and a designer, so I tend to visualize them in my head first. And I've realized that if I can't do that first, then I can't do the rest. So That's it's become a part of my process. Because, yeah. you know, I want to read a little excerpt about Winter Young, mm -hmm. um, our character, our pop star, you say in the book. The most famous superstar in the world, the boy everyone talked about, was so beautiful, it was hard to believe he was real. His was a luminous sort of presence that could turn every head on the street, messy hair so lushly black, it gleamed blue in the light, geometric ink running along his forearms that ended in a snake coiled around his left wrist. I want to date him. Um, <laughs> sl <laughs> slender dark eyes rimmed with long black lashes a mysterious grace in his movements, an expression that could somehow switch between shy and mischievous in the space of a second. <laughs> so you, you've drawn this in yes. many ways and brought the words to it. Yeah, I don't think I've ever drawn a sketch that quite captures the way that I, he looks in my head, but I keep trying. I'm thinking Harry <laughs> Styles means, I don't know. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> Like this was my book that I started in March of 2020 when you know it was like the scariest time in yeah, the pandemic yeah. and we were like washing our vegetables and stuff and I'm like I don't know what's going on and I just remember being so distraught by what was happening and I was like I can't look at the news I can't do anything I need an escape and I just wanted to get away um, and this was my way out uh, I I had read an article online about celebrities that had been spies in the past. Josephine um, Baker was a Yes, she was, she was. Yeah, so that was where I got the idea from. And from there I was like, this is gonna be my escape. I wanted to um, embody characters that would make me happy to write about. And, well, and... Ha they make me happy to read. Oh, good. Winter and Sydney, <laughs> the chemistry is off the chain. Let's go to our East Oakland Book Club, standing by in Michigan, because so much of the story, <laughs> hey! So, so much of the story is set in London. They are having tea, so I have some tea with me as well. You got one cup of tea for four, one, two, three, four? All right. Okay, well, I'm serious about my tea, so I'm gonna sip some. Kayleen, what's our question? Um, how do you figure out the twists and turns of your story? Like, well, by the end of it, do you start with it, knowing what it's gonna be in your head, or do you kind of just let it develop naturally? 
Yeah, that's a great question. I um, I don't usually know what's going to happen <laughs> as I go. I have a few points that I think uh, I need to hit yeah. uh, for the story, but um, I don't really know how to get there. And I and I try to, but I always go off in the weeds, you know, as I'm drafting. Yeah. So a lot of times the twists that happen in the book are twists that I didn't foresee coming until I got to like that page. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> You're inspiring me. Okay, oh, I'm just you. finishing my <laughs> second novel. Now I'm gonna steal some ideas That's from amazing. you. <laughs> <laughs> Kaylee, I love you guys. Thank you so much. We gotta visit soon. Thank you so much, Marie Lou. Okay, so here's the deal. People at home are always asking, why can't we get in on the giveaways? We are giving away copies of Stars and Smoke. Head over to our Instagram page and find out how you can get the book. It's not out yet, but go online because guess what? We're gonna give you all the scoop and maybe you'll get the book too. Congratulations on it, I love it, I love it.